Hey, what's up you guys? This is Sal right here with another video. This is going to be based on my toy haul um, from the beginning to uh, and actually the mid of February all the way to mid of March, which is a pretty huge haul. Um, mostly Marvel Legends and Marvel Selects. Uh, probably two or three other figures, but these are the figures that I have bought in a whole month, which there are a lot. You know, that's my coffee mug right here and it's DC. DC being my, when it comes to Marvel versus DC, I think DC is my favorite, but then again, it's just mainly Superman and Batman, those are my favorite superheroes, but when it comes to action figures, Marvel has better figures, um, I mean, they all have good figures, but mostly Marvel when it comes to affordable, good looking figures, it's always Marvel, but anyways, yeah, Marvel Select and Marvel Legends, and I mean, there's a lot of boxes right here. And there I have a couple of boxes that I need to go through so you guys can see them. Some figures I haven't taken out of the box. Some figures I have, like this one's right here. Take them out on display over here. But I took them out right now just to, to make the video. That's on display over there. So, but yeah, let me get into the video. Um, let's get into it. All the figures that I have bought, how much, around how much they costed and and to tell you the truth, this is a figure that got me into collecting Marvel Legends right here. This guy. The thing. Um, after I bought that figure, it all went downhill from there. And then I got this guy. I saw a review, Killmonger. And I just fell in lo uh, love with the sculpt. Um, such an amazing little figure for $20. And I actually got it for cheaper because I didn't got to build the figure until later. But yeah, um, this is my my living room um, and I'll, I'll make a video on my collection in a bit I just put up this shelf from side to side the white one and I'm testing the LEDs see how I have a white LEDs right here and over there I have the warm white so I have bu I bought some LED strips and I'm gonna put LED LEDs all, all around and I'm gonna put the Marvel Legend figures up there um, or not the best when it comes to posting figures, but I'll do my best. I'll do another video when I'm setting it up and to see how it comes out. So let me see, let me, that's my, this is my living room and me, my wife, my kids collect. So, yep guys, so that's my tripod. So yeah, let me get into all the figures that I have right here and yeah, uh, hopefully you guys like the video and yeah, it's a huge haul and it's a pretty penny that I spend it, but uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy and hopefully the the display comes out really good. Alright, so let me pause the video and I'll get back to you guys. So yeah, I was never into really um, Marvel Legends uh, at all, to tell you the truth. Um, reason why I, I got into collecting what's it called, um, Hot Toys. And NECA figures and in my opinion the NECA figures and Hot Toys they're really great figures for their like I mean for the what they are especially Hot Toys but they're too expensive NECA really great bang for your buck um, the detail scope the articulation got way better over the years so yeah I mean $25 figures $30 figures were great even though those were 20 I was not never into it until I saw a review and it uh, it was Shardimus Prime's um, was it Shardimus Prime I'm sorry uh no no it wasn't Shardimus Prime. It was uh Talker uh Talker Art. He was the one that he did a figure of best figures of 2018 and this guy was one of the top ones, so I believe it was the first number one. And I felt I mean the sculpt it has has gotten way better over the years and they look apart with I mean NECA like I said they have great detail, great sculpts, great articulation that's probably not as, that, as good as this, but they're getting there as well. But yeah, man, this is the figure that got me into it. Um, talking too much about this figure, but yeah, but because of this figure, I'm into Marvel Legends. So let me put this to the side and me, let me go through the pile. Second figure that I got was just was this guy. Uh, I got it for twelve dollars on eBay. I had to bid on it, but uh, again, uh, I didn't get the build a piece. But it's amazing, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of there's too many reviews for me to review but a great figure it comes with the mask which is that's some right here damn you oh it's over here 
right here. It comes with a mask and a yeah, great figure. Uh, another figure that got me into collecting Marvel Legends. Uh, I think this one and the thing was the my top favorite at the time, and from there on it all went downhill. All right, so let's get through it quick. Another one, Black Panther. Um, let's see, T'Challa from Black Panther. He comes with uh, the extra. I mean, with the head scope of the actor's head head scope. Oh shit, I cannot remember the name right now. Um, sorry, but yeah. Great looking figure, great articulation. Uh, some of the figures I wish I had a little bit more of a black wash on them, but I mean that's a easy, that's a easy fix. You could do it yourself, not too bad. But this is another from um, the Embaku Wave, which great figure. I got it for ten dollars as well. The Chaka, another great figure, an amazing figure. And this figure I saw it because of, uh, like I said, I was never really into Marvel Legends. I'm into, I'm in uh, a lot of the Facebook uh, groups. And a guy named Matt uh, Tar, which is a great guy. I have uh, I bought some figures from him. He showed a picture of this guy. Said so I had to I have to get him again. Really cheap figure. I mean, cheap as far as price goes. I got him without the Embaku build the piece, but great figure. Wow, this is gonna be a long uh, video. Uh, Killmonger. This is from the two uh, two pack. Um, I love this sculpt, which is the same one. But I just like this suit better than the, I think, Wave 1 from Black Panther. This one just looks more detailed. Um, the detail on the bodysuit on the on the suit is just amazing. And it's just a great figure. I love this figure. I, hopefully, I do them justice by posting them correctly when I do build that uh, that shelf today later on. So this is a, from the Black Panther movie. Uh, great looking figure as well. This is the vibranium purple version, which is, in my opinion, a really good figure. I got them for like eight dollars on eBay bidding. Uh, no build a piece as well. Okay, Wolverine. And a lot of these figures, guys, I actually bought on. Uh, I actually bought them on on offer up. Uh, some I bought them from a group. Some I bought them from from uh, eBay. But a lot of them I bought from a. Uh, from offer up reason why I mean some figures are cheaper if I buy them I'm an offer up and I got a good deal it was this guy and I believe uh what was it? Magneto it was some some other figures like for forty dollars I got like five figures for forty dollars so it was like ten dollars to pop and they were brand new come with a build a figure piece I have the box somewhere but yeah this is the tiger stripe wolverine which is in my opinion the best wolverine they have ever made judging from other other figures and i had other marvel legends figures when i was little when i was younger um I, I tried to get into collecting but i was i didn't get into it as much so i stopped but i had a it was like the similar marvel legends icons it was a similar skull but this one looks better this is the tiger stripe this is like the x-men uh jim lee's version which in my opinion is the best one great looking figure another figure that i got me into I said I was I was gonna start collecting is this guy cable um, amazing figure got him for 10 bucks 15 bucks I, I believe complete with the build a figure piece and that was one of the deals that I got with uh, Wolverine Magneto ham and I believe it was Deadpool great looking figure Wow, I don't even know how many figures I'm into right now this is the uh, Proxima Maxima and great looking figure the reason why I got this figure is because I mean, if you're gonna have Thanos, you have to have the Black Order. Great looking figures, really tall. Yeah, I need to stop saying great looking figure because they're all great looking figures, in my opinion. If I bought them, it's for a reason. It's because I like the, uh, I actually like the figure or the character. But yeah, and I really don't collect when it comes to uh, action figures. I don't collect a lot of girls, but this this one is pretty cool. So yeah, another figure, ten dollars, no build the figure piece. One of the figures is getting harder and harder to find and it's going up in price little by little is Cyclops from X-Men, um, Jim Lee's uh, version from the 1990s cartoons. Amazing figure and I had to buy this. Unfortunately, I still don't have Rogue. I haven't found her for a good price. Everything's going for 60 and up. In my opinion, a little figure, 6 inch, paying $60, I could just buy a Mayfix. Uh, save a little bit more money and buy a Mayfix or SH Freak Wards, but I'm not going to do that. But yeah, great looking figure. I got it for a good price, alright price. It was open, out of the box. So I don't, I don't mind. 
is complete. So, yeah, this guy, Deadpool with pajamas or well, boxers, sorry. Got this guy for ten dollars with uh, what's it called? Um, the build a figure Sauron piece, which I'm trying to build. I'm trying to buy the pieces little by little because I don't want to buy the figures themselves, which in my opinion probably will be cheaper. But then again, I don't want to go through the like try to go through trying to sell the figures if I don't like the figures and if I just wanted to build a figure piece. So, uh, I'll get into the Sauron build a figure, I'll complete it, complete it sooner or later. Uh, this is a good figure, and this this is my second Deadpool. The other one is the X Force ones. Uh, I mean, uh, X X Force um, Deadpool, the gray one. Uh, there's too many Deadpools, but I think this one is like a uh, stands out just because of the, how goofy he looks and the PJs and the little freaking flip flops. But yeah, great figure. Uh, okay, guys, so another figure that I didn't buy that I regret not buying, uh, brand new, which I I could have just spend an extra five dollars and I could have got the store on build a figure but I was like ah and at the time I was just like save myself an extra five bucks get another figure and so on so on Omega Red this is from X-Men the 90s cartoons and when it comes to comic book uh, comic books I really don't read them I have never read them I probably read like four comic books in my entire life but I watched all the cartoons I grew up I'm uh I was born in the 80s so um, I grew up watching the X-Men, Amazing Spider-Man, uh, Batman, the animated series, Batman Beyond, and so on. All those all those cartoons, He-Man, Thundercats, uh, what else, Voltron. I watched all those cartoons when I was little. So that's the reason why I buy some of these figures. Just I love them, and I, I don't believe you had to watch, uh, read comic books in order for you to collect Marvel Legends or just any figure overall. Yeah, it's an amazing looking figure pretty tall I believe it like seven and a half inches so one of the biggest ones okay guys so this guy not a Marvel Legends this is a Colossus from Marvel select and I got it for 15 bucks uh, it's it's complete it comes with the base which I don't, I don't see the point of the base but this figure uh, I was gonna go with the Colossus from the Marvel Legends I know they just announced the there's Jim, um, the Jim Lee's version, which is like this color and everything. But in my opinion, this one looks better, and I think I'm gonna keep this one. I'm not sure. Maybe when the other one comes out uh, in a couple of months, probably I'll upgrade. But in my opinion, this is the figure to have. I like how tall it is. I don't care about how the legs are long. I just like, in my opinion, Colossus has to be tall and big, and I like the freaking paint app and the sculpt. It's just amazing. And I got this guy, like I said, for fifteen dollars shipped on. Um, on eBay so yeah great figure <clears throat> another figure that I got from offer up this guy Marvel selects and man reason why I got this guy I also have the Marvel Legends is because I want to make a little scene when he's like growing so I want that thing to look gradually like he's growing so yeah I'm trying to put this guy the little one I have the little one right here from the two pack which is super super tiny Where is it? This like a really really tiny figure right here. Oh shoot! Man, I'm not really trying to. There you go. This little tiny figure, which is super tiny, but yeah, another figure. And like I said, guys, all these figures I bought it within one month. But then again, I used to buy Hot Toys, and Hot Toys are super expensive, so uh, it's probably worth it. It's worth it, yeah. Another figure that I got will be this Marvel Universe. It's a three and three quarters um, Ant-Man. He comes with an ant. Um, I believe his name was Anthony. Uh, yeah, so he comes with that ant. And the reason why I bought him, I didn't have to buy him. But I wanted to make that little scene where he's like uh, growing gradually. Like growing or shrinking, whatever. But I wanted to get this figure. Um, pretty good price. Uh pretty good figure for a $20 figure the end is pretty cool I'm not sure if I'm, I'm gonna display the end but yeah I mean it's, it's a cool figure to have wow well, guys I haven't even this guy Toy Biz um, I got this guy about a week ago and this is the Marvel Legends Toy Biz from the Amazing Spider-Man and I believe there's a Marvel Icons 12 inch figures which is the same thing I used to have the 12 inch figure and I regret selling it. I sold it for like 
20 bucks before the movie came out. After the movie came out, those figures are going for uh, 70 and up. But yeah, I regret selling it, but this is a good uh, replacement, and it's pretty tall. And like I said, when it comes to figures, monsters like this, when it comes to the villains, the bigger, in my opinion, it's a little bit better. I don't like some of the build figures are doing. The monster venom looks really nice. My kid has it because he collects as well. Both of my kids collect. Uh, same as my, and my same goes for my wife. Uh, we all collect. He has the Marvel Legends um, monster venom, the build figure. In my opinion, it should have made it taller. Um, I used to have a couple of Marvel Legend Builder figures back in the days. Apocalypse, uh, Galactus, and so on. I still have my Pete uh, Builder figure, but it's not Marvel Legends. But they used to make, they don't make them like they used to. Some figures are really nice, but in my opinion, some figures need to be bigger. And this is the reason why I got this guy. It's just huge and really well sculpted. The articulation might not be there, but I mean, it has individual finger articulations in my opinion really looking figure they could have done it with a stupid without the stupid button in the back because the jaw hardly moves but i mean articulation is okay for an old figure ah can't have marvel legends and start collecting spider-man without having dr octopus great looking figure again another amazing figure um <clears throat> i need to do the mod to change the tentacles and make them the metal with the metal ones i've seen the mod and i'm gonna do that i'll get to it later but great looking figure as well trying to build the sinister six here's a sinister i got another deal that i got i had to buy multiple figures to buy this to get this figure for an okay price uh one of the figures that was mystique this guy carnage venom and I believe Cyclops, so I had to buy all of them to get a good price. So, yeah, great looking figure, Mr. S um, Sinister. And can't wait to build a Sinister 6 for the Spider Man uh, display. Oh. Marvel Select uh, Planet Hulk. And one of the best figures Marvel Select has ever done. Um, just an amazing figure. I, I also have the Ragnarok. Marvel Select, I haven't opened this in my garage, which I, I am going to open because I didn't like the build a figure uh, Ragnarok version for Marvel Legends. So I just had to buy this figure just for the comic look. And I, I did spend it more than what I should have. But then again, I came a little bit too late when it comes to this figure. And it does come with his weapons. It does come with the with shield and there's plenty of reviews on this guy. And it does come with a little mohawk, uh, gladiator, what is it, um, let me see, the gladiator, little mohawk. So yeah, man, it's an amazing figure. The articulation, really, really, it's not that bad, it's not that great for a big, uh, big figure, but it's just, it's just the, the sculpt and the paint app is, in my opinion, if you're going to have one gladiator hole from the comics, this is the one huge it's like about 11 inches probably like 12 inches tall uh, on to the next one like i said i wasn't supposed to buy this figures uh at the time i was like uh i, I could do without in baku but then i saw reviews and man this figure looks really really nice and i had to get them and at the end of the day i still spend the less by buying uh, the figures that i wanted separate and then baku by itself and it's a great looking figure my opinion should have been a little bit taller but then again uh, it's just an amazing sculpt amazing paint app and yeah I think this is well worth it as far as the build a figure goes so yeah let me put this to the side all right guys so let me get to the first box it's uh, one two three four four five boxes that I need to go through wow uh, this is gonna be kind of a long video hopefully you guys are still with me but yeah, let's get to it, man. Um, Marvel Select Rhino. And the reason why I went with this Rhino instead of the Marvel Legends, it's, I mean, it's an obvious reason. Obvious uh, reasons. Um, I don't like the Marvel Legends, the way it looked. Um, I didn't like, I mean, the price is too steep. And in my opinion, like I said, when it comes to villains, the bigger, the better. And this Marvel Selects, they knocked it out of the park, guys, uh, in my opinion. Great figure. Great looking figure. Bulky. I like it better than the Marvel Legends. Uh, the price, this one is going up in price as well. 
I don't know if they're ever gonna re-release them like Juggernaut. <laughs> they keep on doing Juggernaut with this figure. Um, it was a little bit more pricier, but and be careful if you buy this figure because there's bootleg ones, knockoffs, and one way to uh, figure out if this one's a, an original one or a knockoff is the face. You can tell right away. And this one has like glitter, glossy glitter throughout the the body, which yeah, man, amazing figure and just to give you a size comparison yeah he needs to be big especially next to spider-man jeez so oh shoot okay so that's pretty cool guys so a lot of the way from cole's uh all right guys so like i said a lot of figures i have bought um some i buy them loose because it's cheaper and um and I don't want to buy the whole wave. This will be one of them. I actually bought the cold uh, obsidian figure. Um, it's a builder figure. And I haven't built it. If you guys see. It's still on the wrapper. And yeah man. I had to buy it. The This is a good size for a builder figure. Um, not bad at all. <coughs> I'm sorry. But yeah I haven't built it. I'm actually just building it right now. That's pretty fragile. I mean. They snap in really well. I remember when when I had the other figures, it was sort of hard. So it's a good thing that it snaps pretty pretty easy. Leave this one. Dun, dun, dun. Let me see. Yeah, it's just the right leg. Fucking son of a gun. Yeah, right leg. Oh, shoot. Um, it's pretty big. So <laughs> glad that I got this figure that I bought it. I believe this is how it goes. All right. I'll let me put it in. Oh, there you go. Yeah, oh, shoot. Yeah, pretty good figure. And it was cheaper for me to buy the figure by themselves, by itself. Because at the end of the day, I don't want all the figures. I don't like the whole waves. And holy crap, this guy is huge. And this is what I'm talking about when it comes to to some of this uh, build of figures. They need to be this size when it comes to monsters. It comes with this weapon, which uh, good thing I remember. Uh, this weapon is cool, not bad, but I bought this weapon. So this is what I'm gonna do: is 3D printed by a guy in the the group. Unfortunately, I kind of broke it right here, but uh, once I paint it, you won't be able to see it. But yeah, this weapon goes with this guy. And shout outs to uh, one of the group members for give, giving us a heads up on this. I mean, if you see the weapon, is day and night. It just needs to be painted, and I'm gonna paint it. It's pretty easy. I'm just gonna do a silver. Uh, metallic wash with copper looking uh, metal paint and just weather it a little bit but yeah glad I got this figure amazing figure super light <laughs> tell you the truth it's really light for a big figure but not bad um, so yeah glad I picked them up great price and yeah let me get back to the other ones oh well man still haven't done Ah, shit. <clears throat> I don't even want to open some of these figures because the video will be longer and longer. So, I'm trying to do this. Let's, let's go, shoot. Yeah. Uh, Silver Surfer. I bought it online. Walgreens exclusive. It's really getting really hard to find. And this one is still... No, actually, I did open it. Did I open it? Yeah, I did open it. But it's complete. I never took it out. Um great figure uh fantastic for i think i'm just gonna get uh mr fantastic and this guy I'm still not sure if i want to get um human torch and invisible woman reason why i'm not really liking that torch it's really simple but probably i'll change my mind later on to complete the fantastic four but yeah walgreens exclusive hard to getting hard to find glad i picked it up before the prices skyrocketed more than they already are so a lot of this figure guys i got them mixed up um i'm actually collecting mcu and uh well you guys can see some of the figures mcu and comic base figures and i just got ronin um the accuser um this was a price for gamestop but i got it a little bit cheaper because it was on sale box i really don't care about the box i mean yeah it would have been nice if it would have been uh better shape but to tell you the truth i'm feeling like i need to throw these boxes away once i open them because i don't have space i have too many boxes when it comes to figures and i have too many other figures i haven't even displayed 
So yeah, it's just a waste of space. So I'm still not sure if I'm gonna throw the boxes away or keep them, but for sure I'm opening the figure. So great looking figure. I'm gonna mod it. So if you turn the head, I seen videos already. So another great looking figure. Okay, so I guess I'm done with one box. Uh, yep, so one box is done. Second box. <clears throat> yeah, that's uh, the Batmobile from Hot Toys. Like I said, um. I do have hot toys and I, lo I love them, but they're too expensive, so I stopped collecting them. Uh, I'm just picking and choosing some figures. I'm not sure if I want to keep collecting them. Uh, they're too expensive, and if you don't buy them when, you, when, you, when they come out, the price is skyrocketed. And they're not Marvel Legends $20, $30 figures. They're, they go up in price of hundreds of dollars. And another figure that I just recently got was this guy right here. Um the ghost rider figures and it is complete there's other freaking piece okay so the pieces are over here so it is complete um it was a group member that sold it to me and he gave me a great deal this guy gave me great deals on figures like literally great great uh of deals uh i bought it loose without a box the reason why it was a little bit cheaper to to ship it to me and yeah it's brand new still has a rubber band because of the motorcycle all the pieces so a lot of figures when i buy them i try to get them loose if uh, they're selling them online or groups um so it could be cheaper for them to ship and i'll get a better deal he gave me this for free black panther from the comic uh, version uh he sent it to me for free because i had bought a couple of figures for him about actually about 25 figures i bought from him so uh it was nice of him to send me this for free he didn't have to but it's the walmart exclusive and yeah I'm glad i had this figure too uh, another figure that i bought from uh, the group member same guy is uh it's like a yondu from the guardians of the galaxy 2 and this figure is pretty pricey it's going up in price and I, I i'm glad i picked it up because i know they're not gonna he's dead already unless they some some way he comes back to the movies He's dead already. They're not going to make another one. I think this is a better version. There's another version, but the sculpt on this guy is amazing. And yeah, he was supposed to send this loose with all the build the figure piece. And he sold to me for $15. Right now, this thing is going anywhere from $40 all the way to $60. So yeah, um, great. he gave me a good deal. So glad I picked this guy up. Another guy, Drax from the MCU. Guardians of the Galaxy 2, same thing. Uh, I asked them, can you send it to me um, loose where I'll build a figure piece so it could be cheaper. He said, yeah, that's fine. But when it arrived, it came in the box with the build a figure piece. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this build a figure pieces because I really don't. Um, I mean, this build a figure uh, figure looks pretty cool, but not for me to to get the rest of uh, all this. What is it? This figure, this figure, this figure. I already have a. Uh, another um star lord so uh, i don't i don't see the point of me collecting these figures that i really don't know much about um so i mean i'm just gonna stick to the figures i like and the figures that i know about there's times that i buy figures that are really really cool which i don't really don't mind if i don't know the origin i don't know where they came from but i mean yeah this is not one of those figures but yeah amazing figure i actually like the skull better on the other version but i like the color better on this one so i don't know and unfortunately they should have given us another head but great figure i got him again for like 10 bucks that i got this guy for uh, oh shoot and there's the other piece for the motorcycle i forgot so it was in there another figure he gave me a good deal on this one is the Groot um what is it the Groot from toys r us which this box i'll keep just because it's a toys r us exclusive and you know unless toys r us comes back well a lot of people are saying they should be back on the states but i mean there's still some in canada but yeah i think this one is better than the build a figure Groot and i like how it came, comes with the little kid and the baby Groot and it's an amazing figure I'm glad i picked this up instead of the build a figure so yeah another good figure good deal all right yeah guys and to tell you the truth uh some of these figures i'm glad i, I kind of waited and i didn't buy them when they came out that i i didn't start buying i mean i did spend a lot of money right now 
but in my opinion if i would have started um if i would have started when they actually came out and long ago i think i would have spent more money because they would have been new i would have not got the deals of uh yondu for 15 dollars um stuff like that so be patient when it comes to collecting that's one of the keys i just bought this figure i got it from amazon it came last week and this is bishop which one of my favorite characters when it comes to x-men time traveler uh if i if you get cable you had to get bishop you really have to it does come with a i mean it is brand new got it from amazon and i can't wait to build this this guy right here um i just don't like this figure i'm not i don't think i want to collect the girl wolverine the girl deadpool i mean i already have this guy this one i bought it without build a figure piece and the x-men deadpool looks cool but i don't know, i think i'm just gonna buy the separate pieces better but yeah amazing figure I, this one i did buy it for i think it was like 18 dollars it was on sale cool it's <clears throat> another box guys okay let me just do this quick fast i'm taking too long with this video okay so this set guys uh, i bought the whole set except for one Except for one, I bought the whole set except for one figure, which in my opinion, I don't I, uh, I don't need it. Uh, I don't see the point of me buying the other figure. It was a pretty cool figure, but uh, it was a little bit cheaper for me too. I just bought the whole set. Um, and this is the Mantis. Shoot. The Mantis Build-A-Figure set. And I had to buy them. Um, the whole set. Like I said, some figures when it comes to uh, girlfriend. Uh, action figures i really don't collect them even when it comes to even if it's hot toys uh, it has to be like a really good figure for me to buy uh like wonder woman yeah wonder woman i would buy but yeah i mean nebula she looks great looks amazing looks like it popped out of the movie and if i would have bought this in a hot toys version which they are gonna make it would have been like 200 dollars. i mean this is what was it like together i paid probably 15 dollars per figure um buying the whole set together but great looking figure I'm glad i picked it up uh, here it goes uh <clears throat> to call oh my uh, if we can just uh oh shoot dude i really just forgot her name what type of crap is that god damn gamora how the hell did i forget that name anyways <laughs> great looking figure i think this is a better one there's another version from wave one this one's better and this one you build uh, mantis which in my opinion mantis could have been a regular figure uh they could have given us other figures to build a figure from the guardian guardians of the galaxy wave this is a guy i didn't get um lo looks really good when i saw the reviews but I, I don't need it i really don't know anything about it i mean what was the point but yeah great looking figure the sculpt is amazing on this girl looks spot on as well this figure now um, he comes out actually he doesn't come out does he come out in the movie uh i don't i don't remember if he does but i know adam warlock is teased in the end after credits which they don't even show him but uh i mean adam warlock i'll keep this guy looks pretty cool too i'll keep i mean i got it for cheap but i mean Eh, not not a bad looking figure. He kind of reminds me of that uh, Batman vs Superman uh, when Stephen Stephen Wolf comes out and he's talking to what's his fucking name? freaking name? Um, I don't remember, but he kind of looks like it. But yeah, I picked it up. Another good figure, Rocket Raccoon. Uh, I think this is a better version as well. There's a new three pet with Thor, but I like this one better because it comes with Baby Group. Yeah, I don't know if I want to pick up a um, teenage group, but gr glad I picked this up. Again, they should not. They should have just made this a regular figure. Just my opinion. Uh, Star Lord. Uh, the Star Lord is okay, I guess. I just got it because it was part of the set. Uh, or else I would have not picked them up because I got another. Uh, I got what, what's it called? Um, his uh, fuck man. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm over here cursing. Um, I'll show it to you guys right now, but uh, I mean, if we would have came with the extra head scope, it would have been nice. But I mean, I guess it's okay. But 
I'm not the biggest fan of this head sculpt. I'm gonna put him with the mask head either way. I got the other one. And here's Adam Warlock. I'm gonna keep just because. I mean, if it was gonna look like this on the actual, it looks more like a comic version. I'm pretty sure this is a comic version. I'm not really familiar with uh, Adam Warlock, but as far as I know, he's supposed to be like really strong. Um, he's supposed to be like be able to to get the gauntlet and all that. But I don't like how they be using this effects yeah, that came with a Silver Surfer, which, in my opinion, is pretty laziness. They should just get something else. But yeah. Okay guys, so I'm already three boxes in. <clears throat> Shoot. Uh, let me continue. This is a big haul, like I said guys, it's been a month's worth of uh, buying collecting figures. So yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty long. Okay, so this guy right here, let me put this up. And this is the Marble Select Lister. It's already open. It is open and I bought it for cheap. Um bought it for fifteen dollars. It was already open. The box is damaged, it's pretty messed up. I'm gonna throw it away, but the the figure itself I think it's better. It looks more to the cartoons, to the amazing Spider-Man cartoons. This guy looks more like a cartoon version opposed to the new one. Um the new one, Shardman's Prime and I, I was gonna buy the other one, it was like but fifty, sixty dollars and not. I saw a Shardman's Prime video, he compared it, and yeah, the other one looks like a T-Rex, to the truth, but yeah, I mean, I like this one, big, great head sculpt, articulation, not the greatest, but not bad at all, great figure. Okay, another Marvel Select, guys, and this guy is getting harder and harder to find, and this is Carnage. I know this is freaking huge. Uh, I get it. He doesn't supposed to be this huge, especially if you're gonna put up with Marvel Legends. But in my opinion, this is like the best Carnage figure they have made so far when it comes to a six-inch figures. And my kids, they already they're gonna um, they ordered the uh, what's the Rebel Tech as um, Carnage and Venom, but. And one of my my oldest, he has this guy, and it, it's an amazing figure. And I got it for cheap. The box is not pretty, it's not messed up at all. I'm still gonna open it up and display it. Unfortunately, I know it's pretty big, but I, I think it could work with the six, six inch uh, Marvel Legend figures. This one I did spend a little pretty penny on it, but not eBay prices. Actually, cheaper than eBay prices. Okay, guys. <coughs> Shoot. Let me show you guys what's coming up next. Shoot. Okay, you know, uh, you know what, guys? Uh, this video's been a little bit too long, so I'm gonna have to do part uh, part one, part two. So I'm gonna cut it up right now because I still just to show you guys. Uh, shoot! Just to show you guys, I still have this box. A whole bunch of figures that I need to take out. And this this was a great deal from from one of the group members. I still have this box in the bottom, and I still have that box over there. So I'm gonna cut it up short, and I'm gonna make two part videos. So uh, stay tuned for the next uh, video for part two.